Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonorai from Glad Studio and today I am going to discuss setting of work plane in Revit. So for this I have selected one simple building with slope group and now we will understand setting of work plane. So work plane is situated in architecture tab. At the right end you can see this is the setting for work plane and you can set your work plane by clicking set here and you can see every time it will want to select your work plane this window will pop out we'll understand this and this one is for displaying your work plane or hiding it so if you click this you can see your default work plane which is at level one and if you turn it off this uh, will go off and this grid line is for drawing your own reference plan which is grayed out in 3d view it will be active once we will go to your level one you can make your own reference plan and this is the temporary work plane uh, window where we can edit your elements so we will understand each one so i am going to uh, setting my work plane and this is for showing your or displaying your work plane so if you want to see it you can click show it or either you can show it from here also so uh, after this this is specify new work plane which is by default at level one so you can choose name or pick a plane or pick a line and use the work plane it was sketched in so i am going to select name and by default work plane is at level one i am going to make it at level three so uh, if you go to your default 3d view i am going to architecture and i am going to turn it on so you can see our uh, work plane which is at level one will change it again and i am going to make it at level three and you can see this work plane is at level three again if you want to make it at level two can change it from here level 2 so it has come to level 2 so again if you want to make your work plan to grid uh, also you can work at grid lines also I am going to make it at level uh, grid 4 so I will select this so now we will confirm this and you can see this is our grid 4 you can see this is the work plane at our grid level so easily you can uh, work basically this is used for modeling our project in Revit so we need every time to set our work plane suppose I, I want to work some model in place things and I will go to select generic models and if I am going to select this extrusion I can draw in this work plane anything and I will set it to extrusion that I will make another video tutorial on this and I will click this so you can see this is at level 4 and we can easily edit this object by setting work plane and you can finish our model so I'll turn it off again uh, if I want to work on this wall we'll go to set and now we will select this pick up plane so I'm going to select pick up plane and I will select this and now we can easily edit this wall and you can verify by displaying this you can see our this display uh, work plane is here and now again you can edit anything suppose if you want to extrude this you can go to generic models you can use extrusion to draw anything here you can finish this and it will be very helpful in setting your work plan in modeling of your project again if you want to select this roof for editing you can select this pick a plane 
and now you can select this so you can edit here also oh, and I will show you and going to my generic models and you can draw anything here on roof you can finish this so this is for your roof work plane and you can edit your roof work plane also so every time if you want to set your work plane you can go to your architecture and you can select name or pick a plane this we rarely use so uh, i'm going to my uh, next you can draw your own reference plane here so if you want to draw your own reference plane you can go to select this reference plane and i'm going to draw any reference plane here and now it will ask to rename this so i am going to select and i am going to rename this at a b c d and finish this and this is our own reference plane where we can edit our object or project so i am going to my view 3d view and i will go to our lecture set work plane and I am going to make it at reference plane ABCD and I will click OK and now you can see this is our reference plane which we have drawn in our plan view and now we can edit this similarly you can go to your component model in place and you can select generic model here or anything if you want to extrude or anything if you want to do modeling now you can work on this plane so i am going to draw something here simple object here and now we'll finish this and you can see this is looking awkward but this is our work plane which we have drawn here and it will see in plan view also this is the work plan and now i am drawing my objects here so this is very helpful so you can draw your own reference plane also in project and if you go to plan v also this is the uh, our reference plan and we have drawn our object here so this is if you it has gone from below ground level So we'll bring it at level one. And this, this is now we can view it at level one. This is our object. So likewise, you can work in uh, work plane mode. Every time, if you model your object, you will require your work plane to setting off your walls and objects. So uh, this is one is viewer if you want to edit your object you can use this this is our viewer mode and you can edit your object i am going to my 3d view and this is our object here and if you want to edit in viewer mode also you can use this edit in place and you can increase the height or decrease the height i am going to finish this just you can to make you understand it will be changed in view also so viewer is also can use for your editing work plane objects so this was the tutorial about setting of work plane hope you have liked uh, this video and the next video tutorial i will come with another interesting topic so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks